Hey guys, Len here, 7105 Outdoors. Before I get into this video, I just gotta say thank you to all the new subscribers. I'm just blown away by the support this channel has gotten over the last six weeks. And I want to reward you. I'm doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. It's a big deal and it's announced in this video. So please watch out for that as you watch this video. Follow the instructions and you can win an awesome prize. Now, let's get to the video. Now, I don't normally do unboxing videos. I've done product reviews, but I wanna unbox this because this is something that I ordered that I hope is really, really gonna work out for me. And because I talked to the guy who makes this thing and I was really just blown away and impressed with his service. So, wow, he sent me a hat. I did not order the hat, but he gave me the hat. And obviously what you can see here that I have ordered, I've ordered the Easy V site. There's the, I did order the sticker, but that's cool. That's very cool. Um, and I ordered some spare targets. So why did I order this thing? I ordered the Easy V site simply because I was out hunting on Sunday. I didn't record the hunt because I, uh, I didn't kill anything. I did record it, but there was nothing notable, I guess. So, um, interesting. So this is not what I was really expecting. But let me just see what we got here. I thought we got multiple inserts here. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I got here. Okay, so got this little note from him here. And got all of this stuff. So this is the Easy V. And I assume I told him what I wanted, I, I told Aaron Lasko is the guy, and uh, I told him everything that I was looking for in the site. Um, I told him how many feet per second I'm shooting, which is 239. I told him the weight of my arrow, so maybe I just got the single insert. I thought I was going to get multiple inserts. Oh, wait, here, <laughs> here's all the inserts. Okay, okay, so I'm here's what I'm doing. I'm simply unboxing this and I'm going to show you I'm not going to show you how to install it. There's plenty of videos out there on that I will talk about how easy or difficult I felt it was to install and I will tell you how it shoots and I will even show you how it shoots. I have plenty of targets here I deliberately ordered a crap load of them. So this is everything he sent. I got the insert sizing chart. And uh, instructions. So I'm going to go through this. You guys see everything that it comes with. He very generously sent me the hat. This is really, really nice. This is obviously um, probably aluminum, I'm guessing. I doubt it's titanium. I don't think it would be that cheap if it was. And so he told me, follow the instructions and I will have it sighted in within 10 arrows. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to follow the instructions and I will tell you whether it is sighted in within 10 arrows. So let's stay tuned. So I'm sitting at my kitchen table and I just watched all of the how-to videos on YouTube or on the Easy V website, their direct YouTube videos. And <laughs> I just pulled off, I just pulled off my site with two weeks left in the season. <laughs> two. Oh my goodness, am I crazy? I pulled it off to put my Easy V on. So, 
I followed all the instructions and now I'm gonna mount it. We'll see how it looks on the gear head. Okay, so <laughs> I've got it effectively mounted and I made the measurements as the video instructed. Pretty simple, um, pre almost too easy. So for my side to side, uh, what I did um, with my old sight still mounted, I laid this on my rail. And so <clears throat> I have these two screws on the top and bottom of my pins. And so I laid a straight edge down and I had my, I guess, windage loosened so I could line up um, my um, Easy V to match this. So I should be real close to right on. I'm gonna record my first few arrows and we'll see what happens. What's worse that could happen? Couple holes in the drywall, I suppose. Now the Easy V comes with this target, which corresponds with the sight to get it dialed in. So I have a target right here that kind of is the perfect size to sight this in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, he told me on the phone, and he says in his videos, 10 arrows, if you follow his method, 10 arrows, and you'll have the easy V dialed in. Time to test it. All right, so that's two right in the pickle barrel from about four or five yards. So I'm real confident that I'm on with my elevation and my, uh, my windage, to be honest with you. I don't think, I don't think it's gonna take all 10 arrows. I'm gonna shoot all 10. I'm probably gonna shoot this thing a lot tonight. So, but let's see what the remaining eight get for us. I don't know what else you need to see here, guys. I think that I definitely passed the 10 arrow challenge or more accurately, the easy V passed the 10 arrow challenge. So I challenge you to take the 10 arrow challenge. Look at this. And this is exactly, what, guys, I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you how much research that I have done on YouTube. I have watched probably every single easy V video, not just by Aaron, Ranch Ferry, big shout out to Ranch Ferry, that's a dude I trust. No matter how you feel about the guy, maybe some people think he's controversial, but um, him and many others sold me on this. And this is the pattern that I saw with everybody is that the elevation is where the challenge is and it almost solves all windage issues. And that's what we see here, but even still, guys, you hit a buck like that, you hit that booner like that, he ain't going 20. He ain't going 20. Anyhow, um, take the 10 arrow challenge, guys. All right, let's take a few shots at the booner here. Let's see what happens. What more proof do you need? I didn't even want to shoot anymore for fear of ruining an arrow. This is on my 3D target at 10 yards using the 20 yard pin. So I'm gonna take this to the 3D archery range where I can get some 30 yard shots and we're gonna see just how good we can do with the distance. So, 
Okay, so this is day number two at the EZV bow site, and I was in the basement shooting. I'm here with Bucko. He's shooting his uh, his Matthews mission craze too, and I'm here with the EZV, and I am shooting at 3D targets that are at random distances throughout the building. Now I think, I haven't ranged this, I've shot here before several times though, but I think the maximum range is either 30 or 35 yards. Isn't that right, Bucko? Well, we'll range it and find out. So, um, so I have many deer size or bigger targets. I got the white wolf back there, the gray caribou. Um, I've got a buck, I've got a cougar. And all the way on the back wall, I have a bighorn sheep. And so uh, we're just gonna trust the easy V and see if we need to make any micro adjustments and see what happens. Again, I'm shooting at 240 feet per second. That's the insert that I have in and we'll see how it does. That is a dead cougar. That is a dead uh, doe. Uh, I probably spined that fox. That's a dead buck. That's a dead wolf with a quartering away shot. Slight quartering away. Um, first of all, it's a low one. On the caribou, that's a little low, it's a little high. And here, to be honest with you, the first arrow is the one on top. And I just, honestly, I framed too small. I tried to frame too small of an area. So I have to, I have to uh, just be a little bit more disciplined because you can see my second shot at was a double lung here. So, two days now with the EZV. First of all, simple to install. Follow the instructions. Watch the two videos on the website and um, read the instructions that come with it. You will have no problems being set up. I didn't do any tweaking at the 3D range. I'm going back tomorrow morning with the paper sights and I'm going to work on those and I'm hunting with it tomorrow afternoon. So I will be taking the gear head out and let me just grab this thing, man. Let me just grab. I want you to have one of these and, and so does Aaron. I talked to Aaron today. I'm approaching a hundred subscribers and I want to do a hundred subscriber giveaway. And I was thinking about for like the, cause my, my channel has been growing. I'm averaging um, over one new subscriber every single day for like the last two months. So thank you, thank you all, everyone who's subscribed. So I wanna give one of these away, so does Aaron. So I talked to Aaron, <laughs> I've talked to Aaron a lot the last couple of days. So shout out to Aaron and his amazing customer service and his amazing product. Um, I can't say enough about it. And um, so how do you get this? First of all, you have to be subscribed to this channel. If you're already subscribed, 
you are eligible. Um, you need to join the EZV Facebook page and there will be a link in the description down below. And when you join, I want you to say 715 Outdoors sent me, okay? And um, everybody who does those two things, subscribe and um, you've, you've subscribed and you have joined the Facebook group, you are eligible. You're eligible. Those two things. That's it. That's all I'm going to ask of you. And I'm going to give away not just an EZV bow sight, courtesy of Aaron Lasko. I am going to also give away an EZV hat. So maybe you've never heard of this product before, or maybe you've heard of it, you've thought about it, and you're very hesitant to pull the trigger. I want to give you no more excuses. I want to share this with you. And I'm not doing it because I think that, um, I'm not doing it because Aaron's giving it to me. I bought that. I paid for that 100%. Um, Aaron talked me through the sighting in process. Um, we've spoken for probably an hour over the phone uh, in the last two days. And I just want to say that hunting is difficult. Bow hunting is difficult. It is hard to get yourself into a position. And, and Aaron and I just had this conversation today. It's difficult to get yourself in the right place, at the right time, with the right wind, and all the circumstances it takes to get within killing range of a mature buck. The shot should not be the hard part. The shot should not be the hard part. It's always been the hard part for me. I mean, the whole thing is difficult, but I wear out batteries in my rangefinder three times a year because I'm constantly ranging deer come up and I can't help but think all the extra movement that I'm making just trying to get a range of this tree or you know I got these deer coming and and it's it's a lack of confidence it's honestly it's a lack of confidence and this bow removed all of that when I was at the 3d archery range today I didn't use the range finder once I just trusted the process I framed and I touched it off so, um, so I want to give one of these to you, subscribe to the channel, go to, um, the EZV Facebook page and, uh, join that group and just say 715 Outdoors sent me. That's it. And I'm going to do a drawing at, well, let's just say January 9th, the close of the Wisconsin bow season after I come in from my very last hunt of the 2021 season, I will be drawing a winner. First place, Easy V Bow Sight and all of the accoutrement. And second place, we'll get the Easy V hat. Very good looking hat. That's an awesome logo. That's <laughs> just a really awesome logo. So guys, I'm just really impressed and I hope you'll consider this thing I've done a few product reviews. Everything I review, I own and I use, all right? So whether it's the gear head, the pronghorn backpack, the, you know, the Easy V bow sight, um, the XOP Renegade saddle, those tend to get the most views on my channel. And I think it's because that's what hunters care about is what is the product that's going to help me be successful during the hunting season. What are the things that are going to get me in position to be successful? And so that's what I want to share with you guys. I'm going to show you hunting videos. I'm going to keep showing you stuff from the woods. I'm going to keep self-filming my hunts and hopefully get better at that. But more importantly, I want to share things with you that are going to help you be successful as a hunter. That's all this is about, guys. So with that, I've talked enough. Please like, subscribe, share, and, uh, We'll see you on the night.